Hello colleagues, I'm Michael Rowe, Director of Digital Innovation and Simulation in the School of Health and Care Science at the University of Lincoln in the UK. In this session, I wanted to explore the question, what if the healthcare system could think and act? Or how will physiotherapy practice need to evolve in the context of powerful AI being integrated into health systems? Contemporary AI systems aren't capable of making their own decisions, but we are starting to see glimpses of features that are moving them closer to what we might call AI agents. An agent is an algorithm that aims to achieve an objective, and in order to achieve these objectives, agents need to perceive the environment, make decisions, plan, and solve problems. They must also be able to represent knowledge, store and recall information, and analyze it, and then act on it. From this list, it's clear that existing versions of language models are still quite far from being considered true agents. They're also mostly isolated and disconnected, unable to interact with other agents. But what will happen when today's AI models are fully fledged AI agents, capable of acting on your instructions in order to create plans that achieve objectives, some of which will be set by the agent? What will happen when AI agents working within health systems are capable of forming teams with clinicians, with patients, with policymakers and funders, and with each other? For the rest of the short session, I want to look into the near future of health systems and the potential changes on the horizon if the transformation of health systems is influenced by the AI progress we're seeing today. At the heart of this transformation of the health system is the concept of distributed agency. We're moving into an era where decisions about patient care won't be made by individuals or teams of humans, but by coalitions of human and computational agents working together. This raises profound questions about accountability and responsibility. When an AI system contributes to a treatment decision alongside a healthcare team, who bears responsibility for the outcome? This isn't just a theoretical concern. It's a practical challenge we will soon have to address. The implications extend beyond individual decisions. Much like self-driving cars that learn collectively from the experiences of every vehicle in the network, healthcare systems will develop the capability to learn from every patient interaction, every treatment outcome, and every clinical decision. This system-wide learning has enormous potential, but also raises critical questions about how we moderate and validate what the system learns. Perhaps more intriguing and potentially concerning is the ability to clone AI agents. Unlike healthcare providers who must be trained individually over many years, AI agents can be instantaneously replicated. This means that both beneficial and problematic behaviors can be amplified across the system at unprecedented speed and scale. The dynamics of healthcare delivery are already shifting. AI systems are increasingly capable of handling both clinical and administrative tasks, creating new opportunities while disrupting traditional practices. This shift is happening alongside evolving patient expectations. As patients gain access to the same AI tools as clinicians, they're beginning to expect more personalized, efficient, and technologically advanced care experiences. Perhaps most significantly, we're seeing a transformation in how healthcare data is used. AI's ability to analyze vast amounts of patient information promises more informed, individualized care decisions. However, this also creates what we call asymmetric verifiability, a situation where the sheer scale of data analysis makes it impossible for human practitioners to independently verify AI conclusions. This challenges our traditional approaches to clinical decision-making and quality assurance. These changes aren't coming in some distant future. They're unfolding now. The question isn't whether we should adapt, but how quickly and effectively we can evolve our practices to harness these technologies while maintaining the human essence of healthcare. But how are we going to adapt? First, we'll need to develop new forms of expertise. As healthcare becomes increasingly intertwined with artificial intelligence, professionals must develop a nuanced understanding of these systems. This goes beyond simply using AI tools. It requires a deep appreciation of both their capabilities and limitations in clinical settings. This includes building the critical skill of evaluating AI outputs and recommendations, ensuring they align with clinical best practices and patient needs. Perhaps most importantly, practitioners must grasp the concept of distributed agency understanding how decision-making responsibility is shared between human professionals and AI systems and what this means for patient care. The future of healthcare lies in effective human-machine coalitions. Healthcare professionals must learn to work seamlessly within these partnerships, 
developing the ability to coordinate between AI-generated insights and human expertise. This includes building competency in explaining AI-assisted decisions to patients in clear, understandable terms, as well as maintaining professional accountability in an environment where decision-making is shared with AI systems. We'll also need to evolve existing clinical practice guidelines. Healthcare professionals must shift their perspective from individual practice to system-wide impact. This means developing an awareness of how their individual actions and decisions contribute to system-wide learning and understanding how to contribute meaningful data and feedback that helps to improve AI systems over time. We must learn to navigate increasingly complex networks of human and AI agents while building the critical skill of identifying and reporting potential systemic biases that could affect patient care. A key aspect of evolving practice guidelines is implementing AI with appropriate levels of autonomy based on task risk. This means maintaining higher levels of human oversight in high-risk patient-facing situations while leveraging AI more extensively in low-risk administrative tasks. Healthcare professionals must develop clear protocols for transitioning between different levels of AI assistance ensuring patient safety and care quality are never compromised. Building professional resilience will be essential. In an AI augmented healthcare system, continuous learning becomes more critical than ever. Professionals must commit to regular updates on AI developments in healthcare, participating in focused professional development to build and maintain AI literacy. This includes engaging in peer learning and experience sharing, creating communities of practice that can collectively navigate these changes. Developing skills in evaluating new AI tools and applications becomes an essential part of professional growth. Professional resilience also requires building adaptive expertise or the ability to remain flexible in professional practice while maintaining core competencies. This means developing skills in rapid adaptation to new tools and systems, learning to balance traditional practice with technological innovation. Healthcare professionals must maintain their core clinical skills while embracing new technologies ensuring they can provide optimal care regardless of the tools available. And finally, we'll need to contribute to system development. Healthcare professionals have a crucial role in shaping the future of AI augmented healthcare. This means actively participating in AI system development and feedback, documenting and sharing experiences with AI implementation. Practitioners should contribute to the development of professional guidelines that govern AI use in healthcare settings. Engaging in research and evaluation of AI augmented practice also ensures that technology serves the needs of both practitioners and patients. Finally, healthcare professionals must become active participants in quality improvement within AI augmented systems. This involves learning to identify opportunities for AI integration, developing skills in measuring and evaluating AI impact, and contributing to the continuous improvement of AI systems. Participation in professional networks focused on AI integration ensures that best practices are shared and implemented across the healthcare system. So, what if the healthcare system could think and act? We're starting to discover that this isn't a hypothetical question. It's a transformation already underway, even if only in the very early stages. We're moving from a collection of isolated AI tools toward an interconnected system where human and machine intelligence work in coalition. This cognitive health system will learn continuously from every interaction, making decisions through distributed networks of human and AI agents. Just as your individual practice contributes to the collective knowledge of this profession, each interaction within the system will contribute to its growing intelligence. But unlike traditional learning, these insights can be instantly shared and implemented across the entire system. The implications are profound. Patient care will become more personalized and data informed, but also more complex in terms of accountability and verification. Healthcare professionals won't just be practitioners. They'll be skilled navigators of human-machine coalitions, contributing their expertise while leveraging the system's collective intelligence. Success in this new environment requires us to adapt not by replacing our core skills, but by augmenting them. We will need to develop new forms of expertise, embrace system-level thinking, build professional resilience, and actively contribute to system development. Most importantly, we must ensure that as our healthcare system becomes more intelligent, it remains deeply aligned with our professional values and commitment to patient care. In conclusion, the shift from individual AI applications to system-wide integration brings both unprecedented opportunities and responsibilities. As healthcare professionals, our role isn't just to adapt to these changes, 
but to actively shape them. We must evolve from being individual practitioners to becoming skilled navigators of human-machine coalitions, ensuring that as our healthcare systems become more intelligent, they also remain true to our culture and value. The question isn't whether healthcare systems will think and act, but how we'll shape and guide this transformation. We stand at a moment where the integration of AI agents into healthcare isn't just changing our tools, it's fundamentally reshaping how healthcare systems will evolve in the future. The future of healthcare is not about choosing between human touch and technological advancement, but in creating synergies between them. Our challenge and opportunity, colleagues, is to harness the collective intelligence of human-machine coalitions while preserving the core values of what it means to care. Thank you for the opportunity to share some thoughts at your event today, and I wish you all the best for the rest of the day. Bye-bye.